Hi everybody from Techlons and welcome to the unboxing of this LG G2. So first of all I want to thank my dear friend Ricardo for lending me his new, really brand new G2. You know, it's just arrived and you know, he borrowed me his, this G2 just to make this video and the other coming. So this is the Korea version, is version F32, F32. Uh, 320k so it's the little different from the international version that we will see in uh, a few days or maybe a week even here in Europe and Italy so let's open up the box here we go this is the white version here we have the LG G2 just a quick look before you know we put it aside a little bit just to see what we have inside the box okay so let's give a look to the package here we have this small manual this some you know <laughs> with some kind of manga cartoon here we have this really interesting this is used both to you know hold the, the mobile phone and to charge and at the same time spare battery and this is the point because we have two battery inside this package so we have two battery well, of course Ricardo already at least tried once the, this device so we have two battery the we have 2610 milliampere hours for both batteries so these are a little bit you know smaller in for what concern uh, milliampere hour but you know we have two battery and we can even swap them while in the international version we won't we won't be able to change the battery which will be a little bit bigger 3000 milliampere hours to be more precise what else we have here? We have the Quad B2. This should be good in here headphones. Then we have nothing but the micro USB to USB cable. And here we have the power plug with an output of 1.8 ampere. So not bad. We can put everything aside. And finally, let's give a look to the LG G2. So here we go very very nice it's I mean it has a huge display 5.2 inches nevertheless maybe one of the best you know uh, mobile phone for what concern uh, screen size and you know um, phone surface ratio it's very very high because we have a huge screen with very very thin bezel Nevertheless, the, the device is not that big, maybe slightly a few millimeters bigger than the Galaxy S4, a tad heavier maybe, but it's very, very good, quite comfortable to hold. And you know, let's give a look to the measurement we have here uh, 138.5 millimeters for 70.9 millimeters, and this device is just 8.9 millimeters thick so it's not big at all we have um, 143 grams for what concern weight so maybe 13 grams more than the Galaxy S4 but we have here a huge 5.2 inches display what is really interesting let's give a look to the device for what concern the outside we have here the front facing camera the proximity sensor and the ambient light sensor speaker grill huge 5.2 inches display nothing here no software buttons and we don't have anything on both the left side and the right side why because the volume rocker the power button are you know on the back of the device this is quite new we're not used to such kind of button configuration but it's really interesting to try then what have what else we have here <coughs> sorry on the lower part we have the headphone jack 
we have the uh, speaker grill we have the micro USB connector and we have the first microphone on the upper side we have the IR blaster yes we even have an IR blaster here this tiny hole here is the second microphone used for noise reduction so on the back side we have this 13 megapixel backside illuminated sensor the flash LED, volume rocker, power button we even have a LED all around the power button and here beside here behind this part here that's the NFC antenna so you can read here we are LTE warp A which means that we have LTE advanced technology which is I guess not used anywhere else than in South Korea right now so this is what concerns the exterior part of this LG G2 let's start it uh, you know I'm used to have the <laughs> power button here on the right so I was looking for it so let's start it while I'm going to tell you a few things for what concerns the inside of this device the CPU is the Qualcomm MSM 8974 is nothing but the Snapdragon 800 it's a quad core CPU with a Create 400 architecture in a production surface of 20 nanometers and we have the speed which is 2.26 gigahertz wow what a speed so let's select the English language it's not that easy otherwise okay then we have the GPU which is the Adreno the new Adreno 320 which is it should be you know a very good GPU indeed then we have the GPU sorry just one more info the GPU is clock at 480 megahertz 480 megahertz sorry and we even have what LG call graphic RAM which is nothing but a facility to help the you know uh, display in uh, saving battery when it does have to show you nothing but static frame you can save up to 26 percent uh, in respect of a normal display and you know in everyday use it you can save around 10 percentage of battery with this graphic RAM then we have the RAM which is 2 gigabyte of uh, LPDDR3 memory we have the ROM which is 32 gigabyte this is the Korean version and what is really interesting here just let me show you in a second is the fact that we have the expandable memory yes sir let's open this big boy here okay I don't want to damage anything otherwise Ricardo will kill me <laughs> okay okay so as you can see very very interesting we have the micro SD card slot here micro SIM and the second battery which is 2610 like same amperage of the one we had inside the box so we have two batteries as I told you so the very interesting things here is that we can you know even expand the internal storage 32 gigabyte expandable by a micro SD card slot really really nice so beside the internal memory we have this huge 5.2 inches display full HD resolution it's incredibly sharp and bright 470 nits very very good brightness we have this device is you know a true HD IPS plus technology the pixel density is 424 and it's covered by Corning Gorilla Glass 2 we even have zero gap technology which means that the you know display it seems to pop up you know it's completely uh, just right behind the Corning Gorilla Glass 2 and what is really interesting is that we have what LG calls knock-on feature which means double tap to lock the device and double tap to unlock it really really useful and very nice then we have the front facing camera which is 2.1 capable of recording 1080p video and we have the let's unlock the device the rear rear facing camera the main main camera which is 13 megapixel backside illuminated sensor with optical image stabilization 
very very interesting what else is really interesting here the glass covering the camera is a sapphire so it's extremely durable very very nice indeed then even for what concerns the audio output there are some really interesting news this device is capable of you know output audio um, up to 24 bit at 192 kilohertz so a very very good value for what concerns audio output too then we have HF <coughs> sorry HSDPA plus support which means 42.2 download speed and 5.76 upload speed we have as I told you LTE warp A which means a 150 megabit per second download speed and 50 megabit per second upload speed although you know maybe just in South Korea the LTE advance is already used for what concerns the LTE bands here we have bands 800, 900 and 1800 we have Wi-Fi dual band ABGN AC we have Wi-Fi direct DLNA Wi-Fi hotspot we have Bluetooth version 4.0 and we have even you know the um, NFC as I told you right behind here we have the iron blaster GPS we have both Thunder GPS and GLONASS we have FM radio we have the slim port adapter here to output up to 1080p at 60 Hz we have every kind of sensor we can imagine not as many sensors as in the X4 but we have accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity, ambient light, digital compass we have dual notification LED, one here and the other one on the back here the ring around the power button can be you know used as a notification LED the battery as I told you is 2610 and the operating system version is Android version 4.2.2 so we have here expandable storage we have removable battery although a little bit less than the one we could find in the international version which would be 3000 milliampere hours here we have 2600 milliampere hours but we have two battery really really interesting so that's all for what concerns the unboxing and technical specs of this lg g2 um, f320k thanks for watching and bye from Technost.